Hi everybody, my name is Pulke Chabda. In this video, we'll be discussing the next problem of the uh, series, which is D, uh, Alice, Bob and Candies of the Code Forces Round 644. So, without further ado, let's get to the problem. It's a big one. Okay, no problem. The problem says there are n candies in a row numbered from left to right from uh, 1 to n. The size of the ith candy is AI. Alice and Bob are playing an interesting and tasty game. They eat candy. Okay. Alice will eat candy from left to right and Bob from right to left. Okay. The game ends if all the candies are eaten. The process consists of moves. During a move, a player eats one or more sweets from his or her side and it's Alice eats from uh, left and Bob from the right. Okay. So let's see how many candies does each person move uh, eat in it uh, in his or her move. So it is given that Alice makes the first move. During the first move, she will eat one candy, which uh, is of size A1. Then successive each successive move, the players alternate. Okay, that is Bob makes the move, and then Alice again, then Bob, and so on. Okay, now here comes the here comes the part. On each move, a player counts the total size of candies eaten during this current move. Note that it uh, counts the size during the current move. Okay. Once this number becomes strictly greater than the total number of candies eaten by the other player in their previous move, that is a just previous move, okay, not the total previous moves, this just in just the previous move, the current player stops eating and the move ends. I'll just repeat, okay, uh, let's just read in the other words, uh, other words itself, it will be clear maybe. In other words, on a move, a player eats the smallest possible number of candies such that the sum of the sizes of candies eaten on this move is strictly greater than the sum of the sizes of the candies that the other player ate on the previous move. It means the just move, the just previous move. Like if we are at the ith move and the i minus one move, right? If there are not enough candies to make a move this way, then the player eats all the candies and the game ends. Right, so I hope the question is pretty much clear. Now let's see what we have to basically calculate. Uh, for example, if n equals to 11 and a value is this, then you can read it. If you want to get a better feel of how things are going on, I'll just move on. Print the number of moves in the game, the number of total moves, okay, uh, and two numbers. A, the total, the, the total size of uh, all sweets eaten by Alice, and B, the total size of all sweets eaten by Bob, right? So, uh, in each input file, there will be several test cases, uh, which can be up to 10 raised to power, okay, not 10 raised to power, into, uh, which can be up to 5000. And for each test case, we'll have n, which can be up to 1000. And uh, the size of candies can be up to 1000 again. And the, it is given that the number, total number of, uh, total values, total sum of the values of n uh, cannot exceed 10, 2 into 10 raised to power 5. So, uh, regarding this problem, we'll just be doing what is specified in the problem. We can basically have two integers, let's say i and j. Uh, in my code, I am using the integers as st and dn, which will basically represent the current basically range of uh, array that is uneaten yet, right? We know that uh, Alice is starting eating from the left and Bob from right. So at each, you know, before each move, there will be certain, uh, you know, range of the array which is which is unwritten and if alice is moving that it will uh, then it will increase the st value of the unwritten range if bob is eating in the current move then it will decrease the en value of the current range right I, I hope it is pretty clear initially the value of st will be n and the value of en will be n minus one so we'll be playing the game until st is grit is less than or equal to en right it means that there is at least one element in the range uh, the moment st becomes greater than n uh, greater than en it means that there isn't anything in the uh, in the basically uh, vector and then in the array and we'll just stop so uh, let's just look at the code once it will be uh, it will be clear better how the things have been implemented i just go through the code and um, it will be clear to you so we have st as n minus uh, as zero and en as n minus one we'll just take the input i have some uh, variables this int moves basically uh, keeps a track of how many moves have been done. Uh, this turn tells me whose turn is this. Uh, is the current turn if, turn, if the value of turn is 0, 
it means that the uh, it is the Alice's turn. Uh, if it is one, it means that the turn is of Bob, right? And LST two basically uh, tells me what is the number of candies that each of them, uh, Alice and Bob, ate in their last move. So initially the values are zero uh, for obvious reasons because they haven't eaten any candy yet. And LST of zero represents the number of candies uh, Alice ate in her last move and LST of 1 represents Bob's. Similarly, tot uh, represents the total number of candies that they have eaten till now. So tot of 0 will be my A value, uh, the answer uh, for, for which we, we had to print the number of Alice's total sweet, total, uh, not, not exactly candies, the total size, okay. I made a mistake here. And list it tells me the total size of the candies that Alice has, uh, Alice, Alice uh, ate in her last move and uh, uh, and for Bob, but Bob ate in, her, in his last move. Okay, so to be clear again, LST of zero tell me, tells me num the size of the total size of candies that Alice ate in her last move and LST of one tells me for Bob and tot of zero tells me the number of total uh, size. So basically the total size of candies that Alice has eaten so far and L tot of one tells me the total number of the total size of candies uh, that Bob has eaten so far, right? So my answer will be moves tot of 0 and tot of 1, right? So moves tot of 0 and tot of 1. And regarding calculating the answer, I'll iterate uh, while en, uh, while lst, uh, while st is less than or equal to en, while basically there is something left in the range. Uh, I'll say that the, let's say the number of uh, elements in the number of you know candies not exactly the number of candies the total size of candies that has been eaten in current move let initially be uh, zero then if turn equals to zero i know that uh, alice will start eating the candies from the left so i'll keep iterating from uh, st to en and as uh, while keeping uh, while uh, you know iterating i'll just keep adding uh, to uh, keep adding to the current error i and if I find that uh, current is greater than LST of 1, it means that the candies that it has consumed uh, in this move have become greater than the, you know, can, um, the, the size of the candies that Bob consumed in his, in his last move. So I'll just have to break now. I just say ST equals to I. ST equals to I because uh, in, the current, in the current move, I have, uh, let's say, we have ST to EN and for this particular I, uh, we have i minus one also. The number of candies had already become greater. So I would have eaten the candies from st, st plus one up to, up to i minus one. So while considering the next move, the value of st will be i. Right? So I just uh, say that the value of st equals to i now. And done equals to one is done uh, to represent that it basically hasn't eaten all the candies, right? So some of the candies are still left for the next move to happen. And uh, after coming out of this for loop, I'll see if not done, it means that all of the candies has been eaten, just end the loop. And uh, uh, by this point, I'll just say that ST has become equal to AN plus 1. So that uh, when it goes into the while loop now, uh, then the ST value is greater than AN and it doesn't really go to the while loop and just ends it. In the else part, the value of turn is going to be 1. And uh, in this case, we know that the Bob, then Bob will uh, start eating candies from the right. So I'll iterate in the reverse order. Uh, I equals to En, I greater than equals to ST, minus minus I. Now, while moving, I'll just see if the value of current uh, has basically become greater than LST of zero. LST of zero will represent the number of, uh, not, sorry, it, it just happened again, not number of. Uh, the total size of the candies that Alice ate in her last move, if it has, uh, if the value of current has become greater than that, then I'll just have to stop now. I'll just say en equals to i, en equals to i because I've already eaten the candies from i plus 1 to the previous value of en. I'll just have to set en equals to i now and then equals to 1 to represent that he, he hasn't eaten all candies and just break. Now, after coming out of the out for loop, if not done, it means that it has uh, that Bob has eaten all of the candies. I just say en equals to st minus one, and uh, after having uh, you know made the current move either by Alice or by Bob or by Bob, I just say that tot of turn plus equal to current because uh, we have the current person has basically eaten current more candies, and lst of turn equals to current because for the next move it will serve as the last move, right? 
and moves plus plus because one more move has been made and turn equals to one minus turn because now the turn will be basically swap swapped right so after we come out of these while of this uh, while loop i just print moves to top zero and total five right uh, i hope it is clear so this was it for with this video guys you can comment down below if something is unclear i'll uh, try to uh, help you so yeah thank you see you guys in the next video